I have found if I yield to God every single day, I have less problems in my life. Because on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I've been yielding, 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 yielding. So when Saturday hits, I've, I've trained myself to yield for that day. Not only that, I've been speaking and God's been moving behind the scenes and, and he's been operating on something that could be, oper- could be happening on Saturday when I've been praying on Monday. That he's been moving things all week long behind the scenes because I've been seeking his faith, reaching into the one thing, the solution, the receiving of his answers. And so by the time I get to Saturday, I'm yielded to his heart, his spirit. He can move me and turn me and work with me anywhere, any way. I can open my eyes. I can see the opportunity he's presenting. I have wisdom. I have access. I can hear more clearly from him. I'm set up and ready to overcome. And so when, when I, and, and he's able to lead me and guide me and sidestep problems as well along the way. And I have found if I will set up a daily devotional experience where I'm yielding and soaking and going to the one thing that is most important, drawing on Christ's relationship and love and intimacy, yielding my heart every day. I see less problems, less less you know, blow-ups, less, less things that I've caused <laughs> in my life. And now God can help me. I have the anointing, the power, the, the breakthrough, authority. I have so many things that I'm working with that, that are already there, but I now have the ability through a yielded heart to access them more freely because I'm more alert, more sensitive to his guidance, to his voice. And I believe that for you. Let's pray that right now. Father, I pray for everybody watching this YouTube channel right now that you would sensitize their hearts and their lives to your presence as they yield every single day, as they build the habit of seeking you, coming to your feet to draw on your wisdom, to draw on revelation, and that you would you would turn your face to each one of us and, and you'd pour in uh, miracles and power and solutions and, and creativity and and Lord, you work behind the scenes in our life and you, you draw all things to great conclusions and wonderful outcomes. And Father, our prayers would truly be led by you. They wouldn't be religious prayers. They wouldn't be selfish prayers. They would be prayers that break through, that truly have authority in the realm of the Spirit. Father, I'm asking that each one of us can find that one place. We find that place in our home that's set apart for personal time with you. And we take the time to build a relationship with you.